So guys, so today I want to show you a boutique in my village and it's very nice. I love the way what they have. Uh, let me show you. So like for example, I, I like this. So what I love of this place, it's the way he's done his uh, interior and then the clothes are classy, uh, fashionable. The ones I, lo I love this, uh, it's like a, it's like a kaftan, actually it is a kaftan but it's a, it's a, it's a show too like as you can see. Let me show you in full, yeah. This is a kaftan, look at that. It looks like a boy boy but it's not really, this is like a, it's a kaftan or should I say designer boy boy. Now look at the other one, it's very nice, even this is very nice, I like it, the bubui, it's very classy, and then, uh, this is the way you can arrange the pants, but love it, and the clothing and everything, it's very, very fashionable. Alright, so what I like about this is, this is young man, and uh, Yo, how old? 21. Okay, he's 21 years old and he's literally doing this. Uh, most of his age means they are busy partying and having fun and they're not even thinking of investment or even starting a business. So I want him to share one, two, three advice to the, uh, to share to the world and of course to give advice to his colleagues, his age men. Uh, yeah. So. I'm gonna to talk to him in the next one minute, so I just wanted to show you how what he's doing in, the, in my village, or should I say, in my small community. And uh, so far, so good. And he has customers there because I've been talking to him for like one week or two weeks just to get him to agree. But you can see the, the look at that, look at that. It is so this is how the interior looks like. You enter here and you just want to buy. By the way, this section was someone uh, you are doing a, you know, fitting and everything. But the lady has gone on leave, so I might come back later. But I love this place. I like the way he's arranged. It's beautiful. So we are going to ask him a few questions. So guys out there, kindly watch this video to the end and subscribe. All right, drop your comments. Here. So my name is, I just speak to Swahili. Your Swahili English, your Swahili English. Your Swahili English. Let me show you one as uh, something that has really touched my eyes. Look at that. In the court, you know I mean? Oh, for the flow. Let me just let me put it up. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, God, I love it. You know how much? You're ready. You're ready. It's okay to turn up for likes, but right now we just uh, not everything. Don't be scared. So my name is John Fonder. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to come at you. My advice to my peers is mm -hmm. what you do. Me too. What you do? Me. Yes, yes, I love you. What was the cheer was a bank accounts like 
kuangalia nao audience kenda kama kwa banks na baada majority ni watu wazima kwa hiyo kijana kujishughulisha na mabank account na mimi kile kimenifanya mpaka nimefika hapa si account kuna ma accounts kuna le different bank Hey my name is Jay Ndele Ah so capital ya kwanza business imagine that so the sisters sisters like to me ili fungua some bank accounts for this and kind of save the money and kangalia kama circles circles ni lijeni marika circles America Sako sa joining na credit saving na kwa ni kisave sasa kidogo kidogo the more na ka shares the more na za kwa loan loan yeah. so uli sell uli anza ku save na pesa ngapi like 100 bob 200 bob how much ni kwa ni kisave hata 50 50 100 100 so ni save kuna ka period money ya mm. Uh, sasa ni kama ile sekawani ya lakini nimekuwa ni save na I managed to save my like 20k mm. 20k at first nilikuwa nilikuwa capable of uh, kupewa loan ya 60 they give me 3 times the amount yeah 60 ndio kwani first nikachukua 50 kaanza kwanza na kwa kitu kidogo kidogo unajua mtu anaanza chini yeah. anza chini kitu kidogo kidogo madera kiasi kiasi by then nilikuwa nachukua kitu zangu na mm. so kaleta tu madera kiasi kan kiongeza nini na mbona una sales unajua unapata profit yeah. so the profit unajinyima unajinyima vitu vingi unapunguza stare unapunguza vitu vingi mm. na jambo mm. then na money unapata the profit you get you get back for business you know you're very impressed by it sasa hiyo ndio imenifanya mimi naendelea okay so right now he is selling me how he came up with this uh, business first of all his capital how he raises capital because i know most people asking that question he raises capital by saving he had uh, an account with america sako so he was able to he okay he, so he saved like for one year So he used to drop in the account like 100 bob, 200 bob or 50 bob. So he was able to save around 20,000 Kenya shillings. That's like $200. Then in America Sapo if you save like 20,000 Kenya shillings or $200, you are, you are, you are, you are capable you are given a loan three times of what you have saved there, yeah? the amount you have saved. So he was, he was uh, qualified to get a loan for 60,000 Kenya shillings. But he decided to take uh, 50,000 Kenya shillings instead of 60. Then of course he started a, a small shop like this and a boutique. And then it's still small as in buying stuff from Nairobi coming here in Mombasa and then the profit he get he gets he never spent it he, he reinvested it back in, into the business so far that's what he's been doing and so far it's been working for him then him was uh, giving advice to the youth out there that uh, you get uh, you need to have a bank account it's very important because uh, when you have bank account you're able to put you a little bit of your money you save save a, a little bit you know because at the end of the day when you save up you're able to put your money in your account then you might be qualified to take a loan or something like that so that's why the reason why he was really stressing on uh youth to own bank accounts to have a bank account all right so i'm asking this question how long has he been doing this business like two years two years now so he's been doing this business for two years so meaning right now he knows the in and out what he needs to sell uh what does it sell uh he knows how to literally uh put his books in accounts uh in order he knows how much profit he, uh, he earns uh what he needs to do to make sure his business survive during the low season because he has a high season and low season most of the high season is high season holy days so his high seasons when he sells a lot is during holidays when schools are closed when we have celebration that's uh when he sells a lot so look eh? yeah with celebration so, uh, like, events, events, yeah. Uh, weddings, weddings yeah, yeah.
All right. So he tells me most of the time he gets customer is when chamas have like a celebration. They usually buy like a dera uniform. Uh, that's that's very common where I come from in Mombasa. Uh, they like to wear like a uniform if it's dera's the same, and they go for the, their event and stuff. Or maybe their weddings. That's when he has a lot of customers. Or when they, they are burials. That's when he has a lot of customers. Or school when, when schools close or during holiday like Christmas or during Eid celebration or during uh, the August August holidays or April holidays or December holidays that's when usually Kenya uh, they close schools yes okay what kind of advice can you give the youth out there uh, to me what you try to do is to come to the Money you get. Mm. Mm. You try to save. To save for the end of the day. Save, save, and save. You make the money to save. You apply loan and leave. And uh, you apply for a bigger loan case. Mm. Even though you don't have to save. Are you able to, to help your family through this business and yeah. yourself? Okay. Uh, okay. So this guy is 20 years old and he's able to, to help his family. Someone in some way is 20 years old and he's thinking, okay, I'm not getting this job. What, what do I need to do? Please. He's one of if he can do it, even you can you can do it. There's nothing like impossible. As long as you're willing, as long as you're willing to put in the effort, there's nothing like impossible. All right? Remove that uh, word impossible in your head. If you want to do something, go ahead and do it. If he can do it, so can you. And remember, he's 20 years old. Eh? He's been doing this business for two years. Meaning when he started this thing, he was 18 years old. Hmm? Guys. I hope it, it has inspired you. So him is telling me literally right now he's able to take care of himself plus his family, that is his siblings, yeah. Because he's not married, he's still single. So his siblings. Okay, so his family literally like he can support them through his business. So guys, if you're there sitting seated at home wondering what to do, this is an I, I hope this case is an inspiration to you. I hope you'll get up. I hope you'll research on a business idea and I hope you'll do you know Start doing small small jobs just to, to earn a, li a little bit of cash so that you're able to save up so that you can uh, have that, the capital to start your business all right guys i really hope you've enjoyed yourself i really hope you you're watching and i hope it has inspired you last word from me vijana besides hustling uh, be to me uh, the last word me okay. Yeah. Okay. Last word. Okay. So he's saying his last one is uh, to the youth out there, uh, this, uh, choose a business that you are passionate about, uh, see the market gap. For him, he identified market gap where in Mombasa we love wearing Dera. Even me, what I'm wearing right now, this is a Dera. What, this, is, this is a Dera I'm wearing right now, so it's very common in Mombasa. So he, he realized there is market for Dera's always, yeah? In fact, not just Mombasa, the whole country. So he that's what he started selling, and he never lacked business, he never lacked customer, because every single day people buy Dera's for different occasions. People wear Dera's for maybe weddings, burials, chama events, uh, on a day-to-day -day activity in, in Mombasa, you see people wearing Dera's. Even right now, as I talk to you, people are wearing Dera's where I'm standing. I'm staying, I'm standing. So that's what he did, he started the business like that. So, and so far he's been doing it for two years, meaning he's, he's enjoying it, he's earning a profit, he's able to take care of himself, plus his, his siblings. So guys, if you're out there thinking of a business, kindly look uh, look look around where you're staying, your community, and identify the market gap, come up with a business idea, save up, uh, get the capital, and start that business. Remember, there's nothing like impossibility. All you have to do is for you to just start, 
and you'll be able to find a solution to whichever problem you're in and god will always open the doors for you so guys subscribe to my channel like this video of course drop your comments bye